This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3, Animation and Games, Lesson 17, Complex Sprite Movement, Part 1. So let's see here. Overview. The class learns to combine the velocity properties of sprites with the counter pattern to create more complex sprite movement, such as simulating gravity, that is awesome, making a sprite jump, and allowing a sprite to float left and right. In the final levels, the class combines these movements to animate and control a single sprite and build a simple game in which a character flies around and collects coins. Hey, that kind of sounds like Mario. Alright, so, and if you're worried about these properties, velocity, property is like a variable tied to that specific sprite, that character. Um, don't be. We learned about them in the last lesson or a few lessons back. I think 15 was velocity. Definitely go back and review that. But um, I'm really excited to see how our game turns out. So let's uh, keep going.